want to their stomach often at all. Okay, so um, scoot just a little bit closer towards me. Um, is it okay if I just lift up the? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when I'm really targeting, trying to target is the lumbar multifidus muscle. Uh, generally, you know, in the deep low back, uh, um, L4, 5, S1 segment. And so for the passive needing, it's just that. It's just using my hands and just, just nice, slow strokes. I don't rub my hands over her skin. I'm not rubbing her skin. I stay on that area of skin and just work my fingers over that area, and then I'll move from there. And I'll just spend a few minutes doing this. So I think this part we're all pretty comfortable with, just kind of getting on the muscle. But then the question becomes, how do we do the passive pumping and the active pumping? She's on her, her left side's facing up. So I'm going to want to, if, I, her, act, if her, her multifidus is going to actively contract, her left one, she's going to right rotate, which is this way for her. So to lengthen the muscle, I'm going to want to stretch it and put her in the opposite rotation. So what I do with the person is, I'll find the fibers I want to target, I'm going to apply pressure, and then I'm going to rotate her into my hand and take my pressure off, and then I'll passively bring her back. I'll apply the pressure, start letting off as she's rotating, and then bring her back. And when individuals really have uh, muscle tightness and facet joint pain, this is a typically a very comfortable position, because what I'm doing is I'm also gap in her facet joints on this side, so it creates a decompression, so, so people generally feel good. This is also the lumbar roll technique we just taught you. It's the same position, so this is a very comfortable position, a lot of success with these people. So I'm going to just do this pump in action, pressure, and then as that multifidus lengthens, I come off with my pressure. Now to do the active pumping, I need her to actively left rotate, so my instructions to her are going to be, once I apply pressure, what I want you to do is just, just push yourself into my hand and come all the way forward. That's it. And then I let off the pressure. And I'm going to ask you to relax and let me move you back. And once again, push into my elbow. And I just kind of let her come into me until I feel that tissue underneath my fingers tense up and then I let the pressure off. I'll bring her back passively and just go ahead and push again. And then you come off. Bring her back. Once again, push. Those are the three motions, okay? The last one's her actively rotating into me. 